Classes were interrupted at three primary schools today because bomb threats were received via email. It is a situation which caused the Barbados Union of Teachers much concern. The Barbados Union of Teachers received several cons complaints from our members that schools have been receiving um, threats via emails. Um, these threats were issued to several schools. We know for sure Sterling Chisholm received one. St. Joe's Nursery received one. There are other schools that have received these threats also. Um, it's unfortunate because it disrupts the teaching and learning process. And we are hopeful that these threats can be stopped. And the person who is issuing these threats can be held accountable. Chief Education Officer Dr. Ramona Archer Bradshaw says they're taking the matter seriously and want the individuals to quit. Every threat is taken seriously by the Ministry of Education, Technological and Vocational Training. While bomb threats are not new, we denounce this malicious activity because of the unnecessary anxiety that it causes for some and the disruption that it causes for all at the schools targeted. We appeal to those making the bomb threats to our public and private schools to cease and desist from causing unnecessary disturbances in our schools. We also thank the media for continuing to work with the ministry by first checking on the validity of the information and by not giving these instances more visibility than they deserve. Police did a sweep at the schools impacted and the students resumed classes. Meanwhile, the situation over at St. Albans, 12 of the 24 teaching staff reported sick. The ministry quickly intervened after the principal reported the situation. The chief education officer spoke of the measures taken to address the situation. We were also, as a ministry, able to make contact with Erdiston Teachers Training College. And the principal was able to send about 15 student teachers here to assist with the process. I'm also thankful to retirees who showed up to ensure that the teaching and learning continues at this school. And subsequent to the call, we also convened a meeting with the principal and her team to find out exactly what the issue was. And I'm going to be very um, frank with you, very transparent out of the meeting. Um, it was made clear that the infants department was without a teacher. And that was very concerning for the members of staff. And they indicated that they would wish for this matter to be rectified. She added that someone who was teaching at the school reverted to their substantive post, which was outside of the teaching service. We were in the process of ensuring that the post was filled. Um, of course, when it comes to filling off posts, it is a matter of going through the interview process and making the selection and so on. And we are taking steps in that direction. We were taking steps in that direction and we continue to take steps in that direction. It is just highly unfortunate that we had so many teachers who reported ill today. As to the incident at the Lodge School where a student was struck in the head by a rock, the communications consultant Gaynell Marshall told CBC News the ministry was satisfied with how the principal, Stephen Jackman, handled the issue. So there's no intervention from the ministry. Contrary to other reports, the student is not in a coma.